Hello, I'm Svetlana Drabatenko and it's time for English. Today we are going to talk about another natural disaster and learn how to successfully approach a Xeno reading task. So, welcome to the lesson. Would you like to know which natural disaster we will talk about? Watch the video to find it out. A tragic scene. Entire cities flooded, entire towns inundated, an unending stream of floating debris. Buildings, cars, people swept away in an unstoppable wave. So, which natural disaster is it about? Definitely, tsunami. What do you know about this cataclysm? Have you ever seen tsunamis? Would you like to? Why? Or not? The title of the text we will read is Killer Waves. What information do you think can be found there? Make at least three predictions. Like, tsunamis can race across the sea as fast as a jet airplane. Jot down yours. And now, very quickly, read the text and check your ideas. So, were your predictions close to the text? Even if they were completely different every time before reading or listening to a text, do think of the possible ideas that can be found there. And now, let's take a look at the task. How many questions are there? Right, five questions with four options each. It's a Zeno Task 5 format. Let's learn how to do this task successfully. Start with reading the first question. You should find the only true option. Good. Now, let's read the options and find the most important words in each of them. So, in option A, words are destroy, thousands, land. Right? In option B, occur, harbor, Japan. Good. In option C, recent phenomenon and in option D consist more than one wave. Good. Now let's move on to the second question and find the answer to what are tsunamis. Let's analyze the options. What can you say about options A and C? They both state that tsunamis are underwater earthquakes or volcanic eruption. Hmm, really? Tsunamis are earthquakes or eruptions? What a twist! And options B and D state that tsunamis are waves caused by either seismic movements or strong winds. Let's underline these words, not to forget them later. Very good! Analyze other options on your own underlining the meaningful words. Ready for reading? Let's get started with the first question. Look through the underlined words. We should find which of the options corresponds to the text. And you know that all of them can be found there, right? So, read the first paragraph. Is there anything about thousands of kilometers of land? Yeah. In the second line. But was it about destroying? No. Waves that travel. So, option A is wrong. I'll cross it out. Option B. Harbor, Japan. Can you find these words? Yep, in the fourth line. But they are about the meaning of the word tsunami not the frequency. Cross it out too. Option C. We underlined a recent phenomenon. Did tsunamis appear not long ago? Are they recent? No. They were just called differently. Tidal waves or seismic sea waves. So, another wrong option. The only option left consists of more than one wave. What can we see in the first line? A series of giant waves. Awesome! A series 
is definitely more than one. Tick or circle option D. Well, the first question is done. It's your turn now to do the same with other options. Go ahead. Done? Great job, guys. To check your answers, do the test. So, what have you found out about tsunamis from the text? Name at least three findings. Eager to know more? Scan the QR code and watch the video or read the article on National Geographic site. It's really worth visiting. And our lesson is running to its end. Today we read about tsunamis and learned how to do Zendel Task 5. So, stay tuned and see you soon!